Today, I have a free class for you, a free class on matching your CRM to your marketing. This is incredibly advanced stuff. It's going to make a great positive impact on your business. And I'm going to share with you some of the things that I've learned after connecting CRMs to marketing strategies over a decade. So a lot of really cool information in this video. You are going to learn some of the most advanced CRM marketing strategies out there and how all this stuff is connected together and how I do this and our company does this for large enterprise businesses that focus in the B2B lead generation and nurturing space. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, so for this class, I'm going to go just a little bit slower. I'm going to try to walk you through what is kind of a complex thing, especially if you haven't done it before. And if you have done it before, that's good. I'm still going to get into the advanced stuff. So there, there will definitely be value here. So we're going to walk through three things. We're going to walk through marketing. We're going to walk through marketing entry points and how you connect that to your qualification matrix for your CRM. And then we're going to walk through how you set up different levels of contact for the prospect. Then we're going to bring that all back to marketing and show how it's all connected together, okay? So first thing, everybody comes to a website or comes in through digital marketing through some type of source, right? A source is one entity that drives traffic to a business, right? So that would be obviously, you know, the big ones out there like a Google, Facebook, YouTube, a DSP, uh, email outreach, email automation, et cetera, right? There's all these different marketing sources out there. Now, what's really important is not that, you know that. What's important is what happens when these sources, which could be, you know, one to 10 different sources, hit an entry point on a website. That's really important. So what you want to do is make sure that every single one of your entry points here is marked inside of your CRM. That's really important where these people came in from, okay? And every entry point is different, right? So every entry point on your website brings a different level of qualification to a prospect. In addition to that, if they've never even come to your website and you're just building a list, right, which is something that you can do a list of people on LinkedIn, a list of people on Twitter, a list of email addresses of prospects that you want to reach out to, that is also a different level of qualification. So going back to the entry point example, a quiz or an industry study or an event, that might be one type of lead score, one type of entry point, and one type of qualification for a prospect for you. Somebody who comes in through some random blog post, there's a pop-up for an email capture, a guide, some type of study download, that's a very, very cold lead, right? And then you can also look at some of these other things that are a little bit more advanced. So we talked about list building for outreach, social, social outreach, but what if somebody completes step one on your lead form, which is just basic information, and then what if somebody completes step two on your lead form, which is more advanced information, and then what if somebody does this final thing that you really want, the hottest prospect, they've completed all the steps on your lead form, they're budget qualified, and they've got some of these other characteristics that I'm gonna get into next. That is what we would consider generally a hot lead or a fantastic prospect, that person that you really, really want to work with, right? That you built the business for. So when it gets into the next phase, you think about lead scoring. So lead scoring is how fantastic, how amazing this prospect, how bad do you want to work with them? So that's what we're going to get into next. Okay, so when you're creating your lead scoring matrix, you want to think about a couple things. One of those being the entry point, like we discussed, where are they coming in? Another one being the customer type, right? Is this a large enterprise business, Fortune 50 company that you really, really want to work with? Are they in the right location? Are they in the right industry? Do they have the right business size? So that, that type of qualification, obviously critical. You're going to want to really go after that type of prospect and customer, opposed to maybe somebody who's just starting. They don't have a good business set up yet. What's their decision-making timeline? Are they looking to make a decision this week? They're red hot. They want to sign up. 
Are they looking this month, three months from now? Are they looking next year? That's really, really important to think about that time frame. What's their budget? Are they 100% budget qualified? Or they have the money that you need to do the work? And then what type of project are they interested in, right? Because obviously many companies have different services. And this one's really important too, long term, because Obviously, it's a great idea to map a customer journey where you sell them one thing and then another thing and another thing until you have maximized the value that you can bring to the client through multiple different services. And then it gets into what is also super important, which is the contact qualification and contact phase, okay? So any prospect has different levels of being contacted. And it's really important that you continue to map this because this is what gets so important for what we're gonna talk about next, which is mapping your marketing to your CRM, right? So either they've not been contacted, they've been contacted, but there's no response. There's a response, but they're not interested ever, right? There's a response, but they're not interested yet. That actually qualifies them, right? Now they're into that kind of business cycle and they're interested now, that's, exactly who you want to go after and then the final part right here should actually be broken down in, in multiple sections but they're at proposal they're at contract the contract has been completed and then the final thing which is the most important is the payment right that's when it's fully closed out now at that point that doesn't mean that it's done in the crm what that means is that this has been completed for one service they have that one service you might have a thousand services, two services, whatever. There's multiple different services. That's super, super important for this next phase because if this person right here has been completed for one service, they next get into a process to be sold and to be worked on for additional services. These additional services would be sold to them over time through different types of marketing strategy.